try to design any electrical or AC circuit that must have power factor is close to one. So this is what you can achieve a maximum circuit efficiency. Now uh, we can also discuss about the third definition. So it is also defined as the ratio of active power to the operant power. So it defined as a cost phi. Now what are the disadvantage of the low power factor? Right. So if it is a disadvantage, that means most of the uh, power will be lost during the operation, like large cross-section area of conductor. So if you take the large cross area of conductor, the wires, that will also have the low power factor. Higher I square R losses, that is a heat losses, lower efficiency, less voltage at terminal, poor voltage regulation, as well as reduction in kilowatt capacity. Right. Now, causes of a low power factor, what way you will find a, or you will calculate a low power uh, factor like induction motor, agriculture pump set, arc furnace and induction furnaces, arc lamps and electric discharge lamps, arc welding, overheating of any equipment that will also cause the low power factor, increase in a system voltage. Right. Same way, what are the advantage of uh, what are the advantage of the power factor improvement like small cross section area of conductor you have to use then you should go for an increased kilowatt capacity reduction in heat losses like i square into r higher efficiency better voltage regulation and low running cost so how to achieve this advantage is to improve the power factor so we are using a different method like one of the method we define is using the high power factor motors using phase advancer with uh, induction motor, using capacitor booster, using static capacitor and using synchronous condenser. Uh, these are the different methods. So somehow those kind of component you have to use in an electrical circuit, in an AC circuit, such a way that that will reduce the more impedance level or reactive effect of reactive parts and that will add somehow uh, more resistive uh, part here. Yeah? operation of the circuit. So by that way you can improve the power factor, right? Now, let us discuss about one of the important calculation that is our routine calculation of our home appliances uh, at our home, uh, our home appliances. So in general, we can consider as a normal calculation for energy consumption. So let us uh, discuss this example. Let us see any bungalow has a following load connected to it, like all this seven different home appliances are available and with their operating or hours capacity like one of the component is uh, uh, having the watt capacity is 40 and in one bungalow it is employed around 12 numbers of tube light and working daily 4 hours right so one of the component we define as a 40 watts of tube lights 12 numbers and switched on a 4 hours per day Second component having the 60 watt ceiling fan, seven numbers in a bungalow and switch on for a six hours per day. Same way, the 100 watt 160 liter refrigerator switched on 12 hours per day. 100 watt of television set switched on for five hours per day. 40 watt of computer switched on for a eight hours per day. 500 watt of air conditioning, two numbers switched on for 6 hours per day and 100 watt of water pump switched on for 2 hours per day. So, what would be the rate of monthly electricity bill of that particular bungalow which employs all this electrical appliances and you consider the energy cost is 5 rupees per unit. So, let us start and calculate the electricity bill for this bungalow. So, we have total 7 items then what are the uh, power capacity they are working. So these are the voltages they are consumption uh, throughout this home appliances. Number of units in a bungalow. Then how many hours per day uh, they are operated, they are running, uh, they are on. Based on this, we can find the energy consumption in what hours per day. So if tube light having 40 of 40 watt specification or 40 watt tube light of 12 numbers and operated at 4 hours per day. So, uh, I, what I am going to do, I am going to multiply the total consumption, uh, total energy consumption in terms of the watt and hours. So, 40 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 4, you will find 1920. Likewise, you can go for ceiling fan. 
60 watt ceiling fan, seven numbers, and operated uh, for six hours per day. So that the per day consumption uh, in terms of the watt hour is 2520. Same way for a refrigerator, the per day consumption is 1200. Television set, television set, the per day consumption is 500. Computer per day consumption is 320 as per the given specification. Refrigerator, two numbers per day. Uh, energy consumption in terms of watt hour is 6000. Water pump is 200. So, what is the total daily power consumption we found here? And that is 14460. Now, this is a watt hour. Now, I have to convert into kilowatt hour. And this kilowatt hour is nothing but it's a units, right? So, if I consider the total energy consumption per day, this is in a watt hour, but in convert into a kilowatt hour, so you have to divide by uh, 1000 when 14.46 kilowatt. So monthly energy consumption, if you talk, the uh, number of days in monthly is 30. So 14.46 multiplied by 30. So the monthly energy consumption in kilowatt hour form is 434 kilowatt hour or units. So here is already given the cost of energy is 5 rupees per unit. So once we multiply this 140, uh, 134 kilowatt multiplied by 5, you will find the monthly electricity bill for uh, this, this bungalow where all the home appliances are working as per the given uh, requirement then the monthly electricity bill uh, is 2170 it's a 2170 rupees by that way you can easily calculate uh, of any home appliances uh, of the power consumption so you can easily calculate uh, energy consumption of any home appliances or any particular house right so this is what uh, about the safety precautions uh, during the electrical installation as well as the how you can uh, improve the power factor and how you can calculate the energy consumption uh, bill by by using this electrical uh, appliances so thank you uh, dear students if you have find any difficulty please write in the comment box thank you very much